Okay, good morning everyone. This is Melissa Armin with a stock swoosh. And today we're reviewing the play of the day, Joy. And guess what? Joy swooshed. And I'm overjoyed and filled full with joy because of the swoosh. Uh, let's see, did anyone not do it? I'm here with the room today. Biker is risking small amounts. That's okay. Journey Woman made $1,800. That's amazing. Biker made $250. Moses made $144.22. Weezy made $400. Weezy, that's a big day for you. New Jersey Trader made $367. $440 by Red. Saddle Trader $170. I Silver scalped it twice. That's okay. Shower Singh made $1,300. He missed the first call. I know, it hit hard. And I did it late. But I still got filled on these six pennies later. Great Gapsy, four twenty-five. Shining Star, four hundred. Thunder, how much did you make? You said you made over thousand dollars. Surf Dog made fifteen hundred. Surf Dog, you're gonna have a good year this year if you just keep staying on course. Golden Boy made eight forty-nine. All right. Now, what did I say first thing this morning when I got on the mic about this? <clears throat> Thunder made 1164. Excellent. What was the first thing I said? Cost 007 that's been risking a million dollars made 730? I'm shocked. You made $1,800 on calls that I made that didn't go anywhere. And today this fell off a plan and you only made 730? You couldn't have had enough size in this then. Or you got out too early. What did you do with it? Write it in the room. In the meantime, what did I say about this today when I discussed it this morning? Anyone remember or do I talk to myself? NCOF, that's exactly what I said. NCOF, NCOF, which means no chance of failure. I got up in the morning and looked at Joy. I didn't even rate it which I didn't even know I didn't rate it, except for the fact that Biker said, what's the rating? You didn't put it in the room. <laughs> it was like, it was like 925. And Biker's like, um, did we miss the rating? <laughs> and I was like, I was so unconcerned about the rating. I was only concerned about figuring out the resistance and the, and the support and the targets. I was like, I was like, so I was already, I was like basically in a trade already. I was like, oh, I forgot to rate it. Like I was more concerned about the numbers of where this would go today and how to take it than the rating, which is really funny. Like I can't remember the last time I did that. I'm sure I've done that before. You just didn't know it. And then I probably realized on my own I didn't rate it, but I didn't even realize I didn't rate it. But I did then after Biker said it. So it's rated and it rated over 20 points. In fact, it rated 22. Biker's going to start to increase his risk slowly, $10 for each trade. That sounds good. 18 was the target, Surf Dog. It absolutely was, although it went farther by a small amount, 17.75. I still think this could go further today, but there's no reason to take another trade. Why? Because we did amazing today, and we got the full-on morning move. It is, it's not even 10 o'clock. Look at that. Wait a minute. What time did this do this? We could trade every day and quit at 10. We could. I mean, that's, that could be your trading plan. You could, you could trade every day. If you don't get anything by 10, you quit. And if you trade every day and you are in something, you just get out by 10. I mean, you know, or before 10. I mean, that could be a trading plan with my system. Anyways, let's go over it. So the first thing I said this morning was NCOF, which means no chance of failure. And I didn't even rate it, but then I did. I do rate my gaps and fill out my worksheets, but I was more concerned with the numbers today because I was like, where am I going to, what does this need to do? And when I first saw it in the morning originally, it hardly had any volume, and I still liked it. And then I felt confident the volume would come in. Why? The normal average daily volume in the stock is substantial. So I felt like even if we didn't get in the pre-market, it would come in, in the open. And boy, did it ever. So let's blow it up. I didn't even, I'm trying to think, what was the last, no, there was one. What was the one, there was one, did I say NCOF on that or not? There was a swoosh that happened in the last month, but I don't remember if I said NCOF before it swooshed. Did I or didn't I? I don't, I don't think I did. It was a good gap and we did it, we played it and swooshed and I liked it and I rated it, but I don't, I don't think I had said NCOF on that. I, this is the first one I remember since I can even think that I said NCOF and then it swooshed, which is double the whammy, which is the reason that I, I did it and then did it more than once. So let's see. This is trying to set up again here. This is crazy. Yeah, I just 
see. This is when you have to leave the apartment. <laughs> this is when you have to leave the building. <laughs> this is the one time when it would be good to actually have someone here when I'm trading at this moment right now. <laughs> someone should handcuff my hands behind the chair. Stop her! Because even though I shut my platform off, I could turn it on again. You know I could. I know. <laughs> Journey Woman's like, why leave when you have another good opportunity? Because it never, ever, 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 ever pays. I don't know why that is, but it, 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 it's, the, it's the fact of life. It's like one of those things that no one ever tells you, except for I'm telling you because I know it. Like you say, well, I, I just, you say to yourself, I'm going to risk $500. You roll out of bed. You take a fabulous trade. You make $4,500. And you say, well, I'm just going to risk another $500. i am just going to risk another 1000 And I think this is going to go into a huge number. Then you take it, and it doesn't work. Who knows why? It doesn't. The market rallies. The timing was too soon. Then it pushes back again. You say, okay, here it is. I'm going to wait for the 5 Then you take it again. You're like, I'm just going to make back the $500 now that I just lost. And then you take it again. Oh, look at this, though. And then you take it again, and then you lost a thousand, and then you're only up thirty five hundred, which is still an amazing amount of money. But in your mind, you're thinking, "I just lost a thousand dollars," and you start crying. But you're really up thirty five hundred. But I know that's what happens in your mind because that's what happens in my mind and everyone's mind. Because why wouldn't you? Because you're living in the moment. This is real life moment trading. This is why I excel at doing this. And speaking of living in the moment, yesterday was hilarious. For some reason, I don't know what happens. Like everybody that comes over to my apartment, we somehow at the end of the night end up in my closet. If you're a girl. And I was showing this photographer who was a female stuff in my closet last night. After we were done, after we were done with the shoot, then we had some wine and then somehow I ended up in the closet. And I had tried on so many different outfits and I started talking and she started videotaping me and she's gonna send it to me and we're gonna put it on YouTube. And she's like, this is the Closet Chronicles. <laughs> and I think it's hilarious. This is just living in the moment is the best thing that you can do for your life. And because if we didn't live in the moment today, what would we have done? We wouldn't have made all this money. And this is the lesson. There's two lessons today. Wait, maybe there's only one. <laughs> the first lesson is have conviction in the system. When you have one day that doesn't work out, you get up the next day and have amnesia. Okay. And lesson two is live in the moment because that's all you got. And if you live in the past, you, you got nothing. You got to live in the live moment. Right now, what's happening? And right now, we had a beautiful gap. It opened and swooshed. It was an NCOF. I called Fabulous Trades today. And you had all the money in the world you want to make. Okay? So I don't know what we'll get tomorrow. What if we roll out of bed and get nothing? Then we're not going to do anything. So you have to live in the moment. You can't just constantly, constantly wish and hope and pray for things to happen that the market isn't going to give you. But I will tell you, and if you've been trading with me for more than a month even, you know that it's almost like, you can feel it, like the frustration from things like sometimes when I get upset about something and then all of a sudden then it's almost like the market hears me and then does something like today. I mean, like, it's, I can't even make this up. It's, look at what we just had today. Like, really? It's two days before Labor Day. Like, I didn't even think we were going to get this here. I mean, too bad the TV people weren't here today. Look at this. I Silver says I'm so funny, loves my energy. Can we see it? Can you see what? The video? Yeah. The girl's going to send it to me. But Journey Woman, there is another opportunity in here today, I'm sure. But do you really want to chance it? And this is what I'm talking about, about the greed factor. How greedy do we want to get? Are we pigs or are we just fabulous? We can't be pigs. We just can't. I mean, this looks like it's setting up again in the five. But if you take it again, you got to look at yourself in the mirror and say, I start to realize now that this isn't the right thing to do even though i could make more money you kind of have to go after the market and look at it like this we just were perfect you can't get any better than that the chances of you being perfect a second time today are zero so could it actually happen yes but it's more like a kamikaze the kamikaze is that everything would line up in your favor again today to be perfect when we just hit perfection like that so that's it's more about the perfection i should do a video on perfection because the reality is that i know that when i do these things i'm perfect and i know i can be perfect in that time period for a short time of day but i know that it's impossible for me to be perfect till four o'clock it's just not even possible and, and, and I don't even want to try. And it's too exhausting. And 
Why? No, you don't want to be a pig because it's too hard to be a pig. Well, let's look. I didn't go over the trade yet. I just keep talking. Basically, it did there. All right. So it opened, and, and literally, I almost didn't hit it because I was like, crap, I barely had time to call it. And then I just hit it. I gave the number. It moved into itself, but I took it late. I still got filled. I still got filled, and then I quick – no, I didn't even put the stop. That's right. I didn't have the stop in because I saw the bar, and I said, crap, this is swishing. I, I actually saw it then. I'm like, this is swishing. I took it out. So when it was around here, it was like, it's swishing. And I don't remember when I told you it was swishing, but if you knew and took the class, you'd know. So I, I just got out, and then I said, I'm out. But then it went like this, and I was like, oh, my Lanta. And I was like, yep, 18, 18, 18, 18. Then I called a kamikaze, which I did not do, but worked. It's nuts. This is, look at that. But we waited, and we did the right thing, and we waited. And actually, now that I'm looking at this here, this was pre-emptying it. We should have waited for here, which we did do this here. Anyways, it doesn't matter. So anyways, this pushback. Then we did it again here. Actually, I was in this before it broke. I took it before it broke because I knew it was going to. And then I talked. I talked and talked and talked. I said, you can take more. You can take more. You can take more. You can take more. If you want to take more, you can take more here. If you want to take more, take more. Let me go off the planet. And I tried to get out in this bar here, pressed out. You probably heard my voice go, <gasps> because I didn't get fill anything out. And then I quick canceled it, and then I pressed it again with a different ECN, and then I got out. But I think it was the size. I'm taking too much size now to press it in one button. So I think that happened today for a reason, because it could have been a disaster, my exit. I'm going to have to split up in halves or even three position sizes from now on to exit my trade. See? Here, look at this. This looks fabulous. This looks great. Now it's pushing back. Is it done for the day? No, no, I don't think so, but it might be. See? Piggy, pigger, poo, poo, pigger. It's, I really think this goes lower today, but you have to be patient. Who has the time? It's summer. It's two days before Labor Day. Again, let's just leave and go to the Hamptons. Look at it. It's 10.09. The one-minute chart here is how we're taking the entry. went to 1775. <clears throat> so this move in here, this is amazing people. This move in here, this secondary move was a dollar almost. And and this move in here into the first drop was a dollar. More than that. The stock total on the day moved 2036 $2.50. What about 1770? Here's why you shut your platform off. Look at this. Look, it's rallied, it pushed over it. Oh, pat myself on the back. Now, one of you was honest and said that they didn't do full size today because the knave yesterday was a piece of crap. But that's exactly why you have to get up every day and risk the same in your trades. If you lose one day, then don't take the same risk the next day, and something falls off a planet, you will never have equal results. And in fact, the only time that you should be changing your size is when, when something swooshes, like today. You could have taken more risk, and some of you took less. That's ass backwards. And we've talked about this before. Don't you get it? It's backwards. There's a difference. Recognize quality when you see it. And even if you didn't believe me today, when I said NCOF on this, you would have known when it swooshed to do it. Regular size, at least, if not more. What do you want? You want the market to throw it into your lap. Some of you got to get out of your fear. You're in fear about stuff. And I know that you are, and I'm trying to help you through it. But you got to have conviction. And if you have conviction in the system, and not only that, forget the system. Have conviction in me. Because if you don't have conviction in me, then you don't have conviction in anyone. To trade, anyways. Because I call these things with such authority. And I know that I liked the knave yesterday. And I know it didn't work out. But big whoop. 
You know what? I jinxed us because you know what? The day before name, this is what I realized last night. It's like almost I jinxed us because I said I'm not losing one day in the month of September. I jinxed us. And then, and then we got out. We had a beautiful gap, and David didn't work. Let's just look at it now, actually, before I finish the joy. But this is why you have to have amnesia. Oh, this is just a piece of crap. It's a complete and total piece of crap. I hope no one actually went back and shorted this yesterday. It did not work. It didn't work. It didn't do anything right. So I hope no one went back in this. be honest with me it wasn't even what bothered me that this didn't work yesterday what bothered me was that it blew through our stop that's what was that's why I called the broker and started yelling because it really blew through the stop <clears throat> and I was lucky because I didn't even get filled full size on this all right let's go on to this so I would be out of this and everyone is but I do think it could set up again when you have a move like this though you have to be patient I said you can take it again if you want in an hour from now like in an hour from now. The five actually never triggered yet. So maybe the five minute will be valid. I don't know. It has to com be combined with time of day, the market. And at this point now, I think you have to watch the 15 minute. I have 1875 as a low. Not, I mean 1775, not 1770. But either way, it was a beautiful trade. So my point is though, that if you are, if you are varying your size, one gap doesn't work and one gap falls off a planet, Actually, in the case of today and this, even if you only took half size in this today, with the one that didn't work yesterday, you still should be up from two trades, even if you lowered your risk today. But in any event, no one should have done that. Why? It opened and swooshed. So even if you didn't believe me when I said NCOF, even though you should have, and you also should have rated it yourself. When it opened and swooshed, what do you, what do you want? What do you want? And again, Going back to the market and everything I've taught you, market rally yesterday, which I called and said it would do, it took a while. It broke the low, and it's still recovering a rally, just like I said. Just like I said. And that might be one of the reasons Nave didn't work right yesterday. Market was too strong. I told you this is a good gap. You could actually buy the gap, I said yesterday. Now, we're not falling through yet here today, but we are making our way up and around again out of the area. And this is how we have to do it because we're just in a crappy, crappy area. And we're making our way up and around. And as long as it takes us to do it is as long as we're going to take it to do it. But anyways, getting back to the swoosh. Joy opened and swooshed. It was beautiful. The market opened and swooshed whenever that was in the Monday, okay, and reversed. Use the information that I've taught you as to help you take the risk, to help you do it, to help you take the size, use the information. How do you think I, I do it? Do you, don't, what do you, how do you think I do it? How do you think I get here up here every, how do you think I feel? How do you think I feel on a day like we take something and it doesn't work? And not only that, it blows for our stop. That doesn't happen that often, but that's why it was really annoying yesterday. But how do you think I feel when that happens to me? And I'm telling you what to do. You know, I mean, really? So, you people can do it. No one's watching you and no one's listening to you. And you can do it. And you did the class. And I'm calling it. I'm calling it too. Thunder said he doesn't doubt for a minute. It's the code to him as well. So it looks like everyone had a good day. Some of you better than others because of the, some of you didn't take your full risk. Some of you only did the one trade. Some of you didn't do the second trade or whatever. But I told you it was good. I'm not sure if we got this today because I wore fake eyelashes and slept with them all night. <laughs> or if we got this today because the market felt bad for me. That name blew through my stop yesterday and didn't work and wanted to give me a present before Labor Day. But either way, it doesn't matter, okay? The fact is that every day you gotta get up and you have to look for the gap and rate the gap. And when I say NCOF, we just do it full on. And that's all there is to it. Does anyone have any questions here about the joy? We just said great call. Ashley has a question. Go ahead. What's your question? Ashley, I got your email. It was very cute that you sent over the weekend. And I don't remember if I even had a chance to respond to you, but I read it. Ashley actually is a man, which I'm going to tell you now and reveal. I don't know why you use that name in here, though, Ashley. Someday you'll have to, why, why do you use a girl's name in here when I know you're a guy? <coughs> Thanks, Shining Star, you're welcome. Anyways, Ashley wrote me a nice email for after the class for the weekend and 
said that he's aware of the fact that he is working through his issues. Oh, is Ashley a man's name too? I never heard of it. Actually, Ashley, but where do you come up with it though? Where did you still come up with that? Because that's not your real name. I still don't understand where you come up with it. Retype the message then. I don't know what happened to it. Anyways, he wrote me a nice message. He said he's trying to work through his fear of the risk, okay? And I thought that was amazing, okay? Number one, that he shared it with me, okay? And number two, that, um, in fact, let me pull it up and see if I can share it. I, I don't know if it's really personal or not. Just hang on. It was, it was, it was, it was just the fact that I felt that I was affecting him. I, you know, I felt that I had affected him in a positive way, and I think that's what was wonderful. I think that's what was wonderful. Now, I know you had a situation here where you didn't want to take the full risk today, but I think you're going to work through it. I, be, I believe in you. I believe in you, Ashley, that you will work through it. Uh, let me see if I can find your email here. Because I know I saved it. <clears throat> in fact, I think I put it as a testimonial. Hold on. But yeah, I, and I think a lot of people go through this which is why I think it's important. Hold on. I'm going to read it. Are you okay with me reading it, a Ashley? It's your native Indian name. Also one of your friends. I do remember Gone with the Wind. What about it? I do remember it. GBH, your email? I don't even know if I read it. Some of you have emailed me. To be honest, I haven't read them. I have so much going on right now, I haven't read them. I, I honestly haven't. But we're coming up to holiday weekend, and I'm going to get caught up. And that's why Nate went off on me and went ballistic, because I didn't get back to him right away. It's like, you got to give me a little space here, people. I've got so much going on right now. I just really, it's not like I'm ignoring you on purpose and I'm running around the planet. It's just that I have things that I have to take care of. Like yesterday, I had to close out the room early because I had that photo shoot, you know? Scarlett's love was Ashley, not Brent. Scarlett's love was Ashley. Yes, you're right. You are right. It was. It was Ashley. Except for I don't know why she ever loved him. No, it's Rhett. It's Rhett Butler. Yeah. It's, it's, you're right. Even though he was a better fit for her. I Silver says, it seems like whenever I increase my size is when you lose, and then you decrease it and you win. But don't you understand, that's in your mind. Your mind is creating that. Your mind has that mindset. Your mind says that to yourself, and so therefore you've, you've, you've convinced yourself it's a truth, and therefore it will be your truth. Whatever your truth is, is exactly what it will be. If that's what you believe, that's exactly what you will create. All right, I'm going to read Ashley's email here. Hi, Melissa. Thank you for the good words at today's trading session. I want you to highlight my thinking about the market. I only know how much it is hurting me. Oh, that's, I just wanted to hug him then. I can promise you that I will not take any more trades without your help or system. My rationale is when I make myself available for trading, I should be, should I be big green? Or I should be big green. I think that's what he meant. I take time off from work and my time I start thinking that should be productive, but it never happens. I trade always under pressure. Long story short, I'm trying to stick. <laughs> that's like, that sounds like my line. Long story short, I'm trying to stick with your system. I have to see big winners before I start accepting fearlessly. I know it. I know it is working. I have total faith in it. I'm ready for a change. Thanks for the coaching, Ashley. That was adorable. And that's why I wanted to read it. And that must go on the website. But it was worth reading to everyone because of the fact that I'm sure there's other people that feel the same way. Not every second, but when you have a gap that doesn't work. So you have one gap that doesn't work, and then you want to start being protective. But taking one loss or two losses in, in even a month's time, or even a week actually, shouldn't make you have a conniption or be in fear. So let me just look at something to see here if I can call this again. I'm really not doing it again, though. Let me just see if I can actually call this again for anybody that wants it, but I'm not doing it.
You could do this here, but I really think that you really have to put the stop over 19 to make sure you stay through it. This should not rally back over 19 today. If you want to short this here, you can short it here with a stop at 19.05 and then lower it once it hits and starts to follow through. But I, I really wouldn't do anything else. But if you're absolutely desperate for another trade, you could do it. But I put the stop at 19.05. It's a, it's a 50 cent risk, okay? But this could go, as we discussed, to $17 or beyond. So it really would still be a three hour trade with a 50 cent stop here. And when you trade later in the day, you have to take bigger stops. Again, why well, I don't really like doing it, but I just made a call there. Oh, Ashley says he took a third of position today to control his daily limit loss so it doesn't take him out. Well, then that's, that makes sense. If you have a daily stop loss, you have to obey that. I mean, that's like not something that, I mean, that's what it is. You must obey the daily stop loss. I mean, you have to size yourself accordingly based on that. I mean, that's what that is. I Silver said he's the same way. He and Ashley should go to lunch. So the lesson for today is to have conviction and then also to live in the moment. Okay. I think it's it just comes down to the fact that you need to be open to the fact that trading and this experience this is an you have to look at it like an experience. It's it's more than a job. It's it's an experience. This is it, this is experiential. How do you think I'm able to call stuff so well in live time? It's like I'm I'm actually experiencing it. I'm experiencing and feeling the weightiness of the stock or the lift of the stock if I don't call it. Like it's experiential. You know, I have the foundation of the information, which is the system and the rating system, the 26 points, and I use that, and I've got the numbers, and I have all of that. But the experience of me seeing the stock in live action helps me call it, and that allows me to take the risk. Now, does every trade I take work? No, but a lot of them do. And when I said NCOF, and when I it opened and swooshed, it was, we were doing it. I mean, there was nothing holding me back. And it's very, very rare that I take a late trade of one I already got in and out of at 945. But at the time that I took the trade, I didn't know it was swishing and then I was already in it. Otherwise, to be honest with you, if I had known this was going to swoosh, I still would have gotten out where I did in this bar, but I would have taken even more size here. <laughs> I just never thought it would go like that. Trading is really fun when you make a lot of money. I don't think there's anything better than it. Anybody have any questions about joy? Thank you, Ashley, for letting me share your email with everyone. I think it was important and very powerful. Why? Because Ashley is like a real man. And, you know, my system is something that I'm teaching him, and he's working through the other things too. And he's new, not to the market, but new to working with me, and I'm affecting him, and that's powerful. This is powerful stuff, people. I'm trying to help you through it. And he's a man. I'm telling you, I can even make grown men snuggle bunnies. And some, you know, you have to open up, open yourself up to allowing yourself to experience this, this trading thing, full on, the losses, the wins, the experience. Okay. You'll become a better person for it. You will, you will evolve. You will change. I know because I have, and I am, and I'm still doing it. And now I'm doing this television thing, and that is pushing me to another level of experience, too. Ashley says you're welcome. Grace Maxi made 6.30 today. Thank you. First first game? Haven't you been trading live? Or first big game? All right, this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. Have a great day, everyone. This was Joy Play of the Day here. And oh, Nate has one more comment. Nate says, I know he's going to believe. You hear it in my voice and trust my talents. You always make me laugh. You weren't going off on me, okay? <laughs> All right, thanks, everybody.